Well, today is the fifth day since Russia launched its offensive against Ukraine. Before we begin with, we begin with the details, let's quickly get you the top developments at this hour. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky cautioned that the next 24 hours will be crucial for the country. While speaking to UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Zelensky admitted that Sunday was a difficult time for Ukraine's forces as Russian troops continue shelling in almost all directions. This after Western allies sent arms to the Ukraine to fortify its defenses. Russia and Ukraine will be holding talks today at the Chernobyl exclusion zone. This after Ukrainian president held talks with Belarus's Alexander Lukashenko, although Zelensky said that he did not believe in the outcome of the meeting. Скажу відверто, як завжди, я не дуже вірю в результат цієї зустрічі, але нехай спробують, щоб потім у жодного громадянина України не було жодного сумніву, що я, як президент, не намагався зупинити війну, коли був нехай і маленький, але все ж таки шанс. Belarus in a referendum decides or decided to go nuclear and dropped its non-nuclear status. The new constitution could see nuclear weapons on Belarusian soil for the first time since the country gave them up after the fall of the Soviet Union. The West has said it will not recognize the results of the refer referendum. Lukashenko said he could ask Russia to return nuclear weapons to Belarus, and the decision has sparked anti-war protests in several cities. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered military to put deterrence forces on high alert, including nuclear arms. The announcement, however, does not mean Russia intends to use the weapons. The West has slammed Putin's decision to put deterrence forces on standby. NATO chief blasted Russia's move, calling it dangerous and irresponsible. A UK Prime Minister accused Putin of putting nuclear forces on alert to distract from ground realities in Ukraine. Russian enterprises are facing severe economic downturn after sanctions by the West. The Russian ruble tumbled to a record low against the dollar today, and the European subsidiaries of Russia's SBER bank are failing or likely to fall due to reputational costs. Now, according to the European Central Bank, the bank suffered rapid deposit outflow in the recent days and is likely to fail to pay its debts or other liabilities. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.